Hello, this is Sharon Lorraine coming to you here from the Sunshine State in Florida. And um, I am coming to you, you know. I don't know, I mean, there's something I want to share with you. I don't know about you, but whenever I kind of feel down and out, I find consolation I find that coming to my garden my vegetable garden and see all of this see that see oh, wait. see the lovely papayas that I have um, look at this one here we pick a huge one already um, you know, coming, when I come and see all of this, that from a simple seed, you know, um, you just sow a, plant a simple seed and look at this here. Um, I set some seeds in here, some mustard. But um, I got to wait and see for them to germinate. I will show you. Okay, so when I see all of this, um, you know, my nice garden, it kind of, uh, how should I put it, it's like therapy then. This is my lovely bunch of bananas. Um, for many people, it's all different things, you know, like when you're kind of down and out and whatever. Oh. See if I can sit here and we can talk a little bit. This is my mom. Well, she has another. She gets a new one. Um, and let me pull this out. And what I'm trying to say is that, you know, um, today is uh, the day after after Christmas. Oh, look at that. You know, we have people live all the way there. Um, something they carry. I don't know if you can see that all across the lake. We have people live. This is all lakefront property. We are on this side of the lake and they are on the other side of the lake. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is all from just one seed that germinates. All right, and give you all this. This is like green olives. And let me tell you, it's not fully ripe, but it is yummy. It is delicious. And every branch, you see that. From one seed, look how many you get. Look at that. And if you can see that. Oh my goodness, I am picking up the the branch to show you how loaded this tree is. Now this is all from just one. See there was a pit inside there. Mm, it's beginning to taste sweet already. But Mm. Look at this. Every branch. And it doesn't like the cold weather. You know, we have a little bit cold weather here. Then. See that? It's all green olives. Mm. This branch is huge. We had to put this thing to lift the branches, how loaded, how loaded they are. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. I know. This tree really grows. And also I have 
Mm, this is delicious. This is another cherry tree. Um, another tree here I plant. And this is a mango tree. Oh, let me get this bucket roll along with the wind. This is a mango tree. Right there. And this is the other tree that's loaded. Oh my gosh. See that? It is loaded, laden, laden with beautiful. Huh. Oh my word. It's all loaded. Oh, hey. And I saw another something. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? I'll probably. Oh, I gotta climb up here. Oh my gosh. Look at my bees. Look. You know what? It's like kind of under a slope. Huh. You know, I think this bees, they're ready to pick. Hmm. Hmm. Yummy. Hmm. Oh my, we gotta pick them. You see when they become brown, they're like very ripe. But like this, this here, this is perfect to pick. And the peas are inside. Um, look at that. Look how the peas, oh, can you see that? These are the peas, see that green little thing? Hmm. I'm sorry. Bad manners. <laughs> My mom always tells us you never eat and talk. But mommy doesn't know this is different time now. And this is a cherry tree. Red cherry, but it's not. See how it is? Oh and look at that. We still have some lemons on the tree oh my gosh look this tree was laded see that i don't know if you can see the lemons see the lemon maybe we i should pick it oh ta-da there you go i picked one mm. Yummy. Smells delicious. This you can squeeze that in water. And oh, there's one underneath there. Oh my gosh. I have to get something to pull that. I don't want to get under there. And there's a, two more of them there. And one is hidden up. You know what? Wait, let me let me kind of put this down. Let's see if I can get this one. Ah. Ooh. This is. Ta -da! I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my. Gives me thrills to pick it there. Hmm. Gosh. The smell. Only if you know the smell of a very, I mean, ripe organic lemon. Oh wow, this is gonna be so much juice in here. Bigger they are, the more juice you get. Let me show you this tree. Wow, look how that tree spread it out. Beautiful. I think they're enjoying the lake. That's what it is, the lake water. And those are all bushes we gotta chop down because we can do that all the way down to the lake. Oh, it's a lot of work and um oh wait i saw another one that i can pick you know what let's go for this one all the way down to the ground look where this root is see the root of this tree and it bears all the way these are all branches there's a huge one in the middle there um, and i think there's a huge one right here too ouch yeah it has little um those little 
thing that can prick you. You know what? I have to wear gloves. I don't want to get any more pricks. Yeah, that's my, my husband's job. He normally does that. But I have to come get the fees. Um, yeah, that little one, big one is in there. But these trees here are luscious. When this is going to be loaded, this is going to be laden soon. This with red cherries. So at any rate, uh, let me get my lemon if I can pick it up or if it's going to roll, roll, rolly poly. <laughs> lemon, lemon, who wants fresh lemon? Come on over. Get some fresh lemony on the peas. At any rate, back to. Oh my gosh, every time I go to talk, I'm seeing all of this just gets me excited. Yep, it sure does get me excited. This is the bitter melon. It's kind of, you know, bearing out now. And of course, you know, my papaya. But, um, yeah, let me put this lemon here. I, oh. um, so let me start all over again. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, what I was trying to say is that whenever I feel down and out, yes, and I'm hurrying. <laughs> I want to go sit here whenever I, I feel down and out, all right? I just come to my garden and, and like as I said, everybody is different. But for me, this just kind of relaxes me. Like when I get very anxious, yes, this just relaxes me. I come over here. To my garden. Let me turn this around so I hope I didn't roll down to the lake because I like a little bit slopey here. Oh, let me make sure I put the brakes on. <laughs> let me put the brakes on so I can turn camera towards the lake. Yes, yeah, so what I was trying to say is that whenever I feel like a little bit, you know down and out um, I come to my garden and I kind of ponder it is like therapy oh that's what I was looking for yes this is like therapy all right to some you can do different people do different things like read a book uh, go to the beach whatever well I have beach right here as a matter of fact the lake and the water is right now it's kind of calm right but whenever that happens I feel that way this is what gives me the peace and the comfort and the serenity and then I always ponder so oh my goodness you know like from one little piece of stick or one little grain one little um, pit seeds you know um, you can plant and then this is what happens See that? I mean, I show you my papaya. Yeah, we are picking papaya like crazy now. Um, and from one, just one simple seed, so you're reaping so much. So that's what I, what kind of, um, you know, relaxes me. I mean, I get uh, my emotion calms down and all that. But um, yeah, it has been a little bit challenging this Christmas because I don't know if many of you uh, who don't know my daddy passed away um, September the 25th all right and this is the first Christmas he's he spent in heaven and um, even though we are happy think about it that's where all of us want to go there's no pain no nothing because he hates to take pills and I was kind of laughing a little bit and then I get depressed as well, well daddy you know you know you have to go but um, it is what it is so at any rate um, 
Yeah, my dad passed away and it was a little bit sad because he's not here with us for this Christmas, for the holiday season, for the Christmas season. Because he normally, um, you know, helps me. Last Christmas he was here and I keep looking at the tree and say, oh my gosh, where is daddy, you know. First of all, I didn't want to do any uh, Christmas, put any tree up, you know, or any decorate or do anything. But then again, I know daddy, you know, would want me to be happy to do that because that's what he loves to do so I I did that and um, at any rate so like back to what I was saying that was I that's the reason why I was like a little bit depressed down and out and um, so I decided you know let me come here into my garden and I'm feeling much better because when I look at all this creation look at all these things it's like it just blows my mind like as I said from one tiny seed look what you what the, you can produce look what it multiplies to all right and, um, and also I'm thinking too that you know my home based business I mean this is what you can do just share what you're doing and one person to the next to the next you know it is just like when you sow the seed and you just leave it alone and who decided to join that's fine you join because of course you know there's so much money to be made but at any rate so let me end this off here now I'm feeling much much better um, if you would like to know exactly what I'm doing from the comfort of my home as well even though all this is going on I'm still making money um, you definitely need to check me out I mean get in touch with me um, on Facebook is the best way and then once you send me a message at Sharon um, I want to know what you're doing um, then what I can do then I can share with you my phone number and we can talk and all of that and definitely I am in the business of helping people to create an income to make an income to make money online all right um, as well if you would like to check the website out which is profitswithsharon.com and that's P R O F I T S W I T H S H A R O N dot com. So that's profits with a P with Sharon S H A R O N dot com. All right. So again, peace out. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Whoever is celebrating Christmas. But at any rate, you know, for me, I think every day is Christmas, but that's fine. So I am having, I'm enjoying myself out here. It's a little bit chill here, but I'm feeling kind of hot now. Um, you know, I took a shower, you know, from my head before I come downstairs. And that's why I wear this turtle leg, but I'm feeling very hot. <laughs> yes, it is kind of hot and you can see it is like started to get a little bit windy, but it is kind of warming up. See, it's a little bit windy. I can see the leaves are blowing. Not too much, but yeah, look at that. Oh, that's my curry tree from my sister Rachel. Yeah, she bought that for me from Georgia. It was a little tiny tree and look at this thing. We had to cut down so many branches. But it is a gorgeous tree. That's like a seasoning we um, use, you know, to put in our food. Delicious. All right. So again, Sharon the Rain, please like please make a comment and also share this you never know who you know wanted to um, to make some extra money all right so please do that and I greatly appreciate that until my next video peace out again Merry Christmas um, and a happy happy new year take care and I will be looking forward to have you in my team take care bye bye from the Sunshine State, Claremont, Florida. Take care. Bye. Oh, see the sun is out. Yeah, the sun is out and it's a little bit breezy. So, take care. Peace out. Bye.